The chairman of the House Committee on HIV, AIDS, Tuberculosis and Malaria, Honorable Amor Bioga, has summoned all parties involved in the embezzlement of World Bank and Islamic Bank loans by contractors in coalition with staff from the Ministry of Health and Primary Health Care. Honorable Amobi stated that the investigative hearing is not about tension between the executive and legislative branches, but rather an attempt to recover the stolen funds. He urged all parties to put aside their differences. However, Amobi expressed disappointment at the absence of the Minister of Health and the contractors who handled the projects. What we want to do is to see a way to resolve this matter again. Because the more we stretch it, the more Nigerians are suffering. We are in governance for the betterment of the common man. We are not here to drag the issue of executive and legislative. No. We will do our proper oversight to all the agencies that are involved in these transactions. From primary level to ministry to order. But the, the, the key thing as of now is to find the way to resolve this matter. That is our primary aim. Every other document can be reviewed as time goes on because it's our mandate. He accused the Ministry of Health and Primary Health Care of using the funds meant for local production of malaria and HIV drugs to instead import the drugs. He argued that local production would have benefited Nigerians through job creation and other means. So, the reason why government engaged in this was because of the local conflict. That was the major you are talking about the business. We are talking about our act. That's to be all. And you must be respected. If the president can respect our, our, uh, 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 sir, what's your problem with the president? Please, please, all that we are After the time has been like this. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.